Uh, can you take us through the race tonight? I don't remember much of it. I was just trying to stay light. I guess light was slow <laughs> going out. I really had no idea that I was six at the 50. Um, but happy that I was able to finish first. Yeah. Can you talk about your, your whole weekend world? Yeah, for some reason, there and here, my legs have felt super heavy. I This has never really happened to me at my big meet of the year before. So um, I'll talk to Arthur already about that, and we'll um, work on that going into this next year. But started off, world's a little rocky. Um, knew that I had a 50 in me, and so I tied my 50 American record for the third year in a row, exact same time. Uh, and then was able to uh, stay calm on the relay and I knew that uh, I had to had to stay calm and had to fill my, my role and not let the team down on that relay and uh, it was a fun one. Can yeah. you describe being on that relay yeah. just a little more? Yeah, I tried not to feel too much pressure. I mean all three other girls had individual goals at that meet <laughs> and then with Reagan starting off I um, they gave me a lot of confidence though and uh, I still had a lot of fun. Yeah. What's it like watching Reagan and then just all the, the young kids at this meet performing at such a high level? Oh, well, Reagan's awesome. She has a great head on her shoulders and, and a great family supporting her. So um, she has a, a, a lot more ahead of her, and I'm excited to see what that is. And it was awesome to be at the same meet where she broke those records and where history was made. So uh, we've got to, uh, with Simone and Lily, we've been on the same relay for a few years now, so we've got our rhythm down, and uh, it's fun every summer being on that relay with them. What does it do for a, a, a national team? Um, the U.S. just sort of spits out these superstars. Mm -hmm. When that, that team just merges, what does it do for the rest of you guys? Oh, it definitely makes sure that we're uh, training to our A game every day and every year. It's I, there's always people that are gonna come after us. I, my spot is not secure, and I mean, four years ago, I wasn't even anywhere to be found. So uh, I'm definitely uh, I gotta keep working hard this year, and I'm really excited for the future of USA swimming. You said your legs have felt heavy the last couple weeks. Is there any like consolation or silver lining knowing you didn't feel your best and still being able to to win today? I, I think so. I, I I'm glad that I came. I mean, Haley Flickinger encouraged me to come. She did the same thing four years ago, and she said it was horrible, but she was so glad that she gave herself a chance. And so I wanted to give myself another chance. I still don't think this is the best I can be, but I, I'm glad I gave myself another chance. Earlier today, Dana Bolmer swam her last meet. Can you share your thoughts on swimming as a competitor against her? I've looked up to Dana for a long time, and I'm, I'm super proud of her, how she fought as a mom, and just really paved the way for female athletes in that aspect. I don't know if that's the same plan for me, but I really admire her, and. Uh, she uh, showed me the way in Rio for my first Olympics, and yeah, I'm really proud of her and what she's done for Butterfly. And I'm um, hoping to continue uh, the trend in the US Fly next year. She says she's encouraging you to break her record. She has. <laughs> she has. She said that she would stop when I, when, well, when I, whenever someone broke her record, and uh, she didn't follow through with that, but I hope that that can happen on, on my end. <laughs>